I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric here at Far Point Farms in the mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, it's time to give away a radio station. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a huge fan of what I call community radio, neighborhood radio stations. These are FCC Part 15 or close to it radio stations, being at AM or FM, that broadcast, you know, no more than two miles in range. And they cover neighborhoods, retirement communities, neighborhoods, rural areas where you might want to listen to uh, your own radio station uh, while working on the farm. Well, a company has reached out to me and provided me with this nice half watt. CZE-05B radio station and tonight I'm gonna to go through and unbox this with you. We'll set it up, we'll listen to how it sounds on the radio and then in a couple weeks we'll do a live show and I'll give this thing away during that live show. What I want to enter this live giveaway is this. Leave a single, just one now, compelling reason why you should own an FM radio station of your own. And if we go through all those messages, and we'll cut that off and maybe, you know, let's give it a full 12 days. How's that sound? 12 days from the day that this is posted. I'll read all those comments. My wife will read all the comments. We'll pick out the uh, five or 10 uh, best ones. We'll put those names into a hat, pull it out live on the live feed, and that person will get a brand new radio station of their own. So let's do that. Now tonight, let's get into this and let's find out all about this really cool FM transmitter. Here we let's are, and I've said this before on this channel, but allow me to say it again. I feel so blessed to have had the opportunities that YouTube has given me to not only play with stuff like this, but to pass some of this stuff along to people like you. And, and just to be able to share it with you is just so cool. If you had any idea what goes on behind the scenes here and how much of the stuff that I play with gets to go on to people who are in need of equipment like this, you'd probably be a little bit amazed. But let's open this up. Again, it is the AUPABU CZE-05B portable FM transmitter. And it's a cool little thing. Right? It says a couple of little warning things uh, of what to do and what not to do. And of course, these are used a lot for churches and drive-ins. But it's also showing that you can use it for hotel broadcasting, school broadcasting, factories. That's a good idea. Putting it inside of a factory would allow you to broadcast your own stuff. And it says, you know, about a thousand foot range. Now that's a thousand foot range with the antenna that comes with it. You, of course, could use this and use a larger antenna, a homemade antenna for the FM bands and get much greater range. I've done some videos on products similar to this where I used a uh, external antenna at about 20 feet of height. And we got nearly five miles, which was pretty impressive. Or maybe it was two miles, I think, with something about this size. It, very impressive range, and that's in a pretty steep mountainous reason. So, all right. So it talks about what it comes with, what you can plug into it. So it comes with an audio jack. You can use CD player, mobile phone, MP3 player. You could, of course, link from a computer or even output from a TV set into it. You also have mic inputs. And then we have our 12 volt adapter and of course you'll be broadcasting out to FM radio. And of course there's some changes for the FM station that you want to use. Some of the ways to use it to set the power levels. And that's it. So there's not a lot to it, but it's a nice color manual, 11 pages. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and take a look at what we got. The main unit, I'll set that aside for just a second. We'll go ahead and open this up. This is gonna be our audio cable. And that's a nice long cable there, I'd say. It's probably at least three feet. I won't take it all the way out here. That's nice, actually. Cool. Now, of course, we have our back of the unit antenna. So height with FM is super important, not so much with AM, but getting this unit as high up off the ground as possible, this antenna as high up off the ground as possible is great. If you can't move the whole assembly high up, well, you can buy an antenna off of Amazon or eBay that allows you comes with cabling and allows you to run something much higher and an antenna much larger. That is going to give you much better range. All right, down below here, looks like we have our... Yeah, here's our power cord. Safety's on there. 
And then our main power pack, it's like a, uh, looks like, you know, kind of like the laptop style. Let's take a look at the specs on that real quick. It is uh, 120 in, oh, all the way up to 240 in, so US and European markets. Outputs 12 volts at 2 amps. So if for some reason this were to ever fail, well, just get yourself a replacement with those specs and you'd be all set. And it looks like it has a little power light on that side. Cool. All right, let's take a look at the main unit. And here we are. Man, I love these things. Okay, microphone in, and we have adjustable volume. You don't want your mic to be too hot, so you can adjust that up or down. And then we have our main audio or line in. So again, this I usually use something like this. I have this old MP3 player. Plug it into that, hit a song, and go for it, and it's going to be broadcasting. You can adjust the volume on here, and you can adjust the volume on here so that your signal's not too hot. You don't want it to be you know, overloaded and kind of garbled or muffled, so that, that really helps. Power on, and then we have up and down. I, I assume that's channel selection, right? It's a brushed aluminum case. Got some nice feet on the bottom here, you see them? And then on the back, we have our antenna in and our 12 volts in. It does say here, connect antenna first, then connect the power supply. So you don't want to damage the finals in this. The second this thing powers up, it is transmitting. Whether there's anything plugged into it or not, that doesn't matter. It's going to transmit a dead carrier or an empty signal. And it will definitely destroy what little processing, little finals and little output that this thing has if it's not plugged into this antenna right here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. I am going to go ahead and hook everything up. We'll get a signal to this and we will play some music and check out its features and functions and then head on over and listen to that on the other side of the garage. All right, here we go. It is plugged in. I'm going to power the unit up. And you can see we have a channel here. Again, there's my mic. And there's my actual volume for audio in. I haven't hooked up my jack yet because I just want to be able to show this up close. We'll go ahead and we can move it down or we can move it up. I'm going to move up. 103.5 is where I'm going to be and you can press that and we're going to set that there we go 103.5 is where I'm setting it now I'm going to hook up my earphone jack here and I'm just going to plug that into my phone I think there we go right and I've got the Midnight Cafe pulled up, right? So that's free to air I'm allowed to broadcast that hey, you know what? You're allowed to broadcast that on your show as well let me go ahead and um, we'll start it up. Here we go. You can see it's starting to play. Now, let's go find a radio and see if it works. But of course, tonight's main topic is probably why you're all here. Tonight, we talk about time travel and time travelers right here on WBCQ 7490. But before we get to all that, let's get to the news. And then... Let's take that ride. So there it is. I'll turn it off and uh, and yeah, let's head back over and check it out. I I mean, this is this, this little radio I have here is just a terrible lo-fi th toy that I have. I it's an old alarm clock. It's actually got a CD player on top. This is kind of a cool old radio to be honest with you. But it, anyway, let's go back to the table and we'll wrap this thing. So there it is. It's not a lot to it. And I'll go ahead and turn it off so we're not transmitting dead air. And there is very little setup. So no SWR calibration. This antenna is apparently loaded for the right band. And it just rocks and rolls. Of course, you can do the microphone too if you wanted to do all of like a sermon at a church, which is certainly something that a lot of people do with it. Uh, pipe in audio and play it for a movie screen. Like I have this awesome movie theater set up that uh, Vavor sent me. And... Uh, yeah, this would be perfect. You broadcast this on some speakers and really hear it with this thing. So just like a drive-in theater. Anyway, let's give this thing away. It's great. Of course, I'll leave a link because the you know four or 5,000 of you that watch this video that don't end up winning it, it's really not expensive at all. So I'll leave a link for where you can get one. The uses for this are pretty much unlimited. I mean, you can use it from everything from rebroadcasting band radio shows to your own radio show to doing Christmas light displays, churches, drive-ins, whatnot. And if you're interested in trying to get this booger for free, and who wouldn't be, just leave a very compelling comment. What would you do with something like this if you had it at your property? Till next time, my friends. Take care.